right, so after you have drawn out your Rube Goldberg uh, device and you have your push button and you have your light source and you have at least five connections in between, you've colored it all in, you should have gotten a second copy of your original drawing. What we're going to do now is we're going to map out how we can connect here, this is where the battery is going to go, to here where the light is going to go. Now, this battery has a positive and a negative. The positive side has the words on it there. And the negative side has sort of like the bumps. And it's got like a bump to it. For your light bulb, one of these little prongs is longer than the other one. And the shorter one is the negative and the longer one is the positive. So, if we put the shorter one there, and the po it lights up. If we switch it, turn it around, it won't light up. So see, the positive has to be on the positive side of the light bulb and the negative on the negative side of the light bulb for that to light up. Okay, we're going to put the positive side down and the negative side up. Then we have to find a way where it won't fold on our light bulb, because our light bulb needs to be taped down there, that we can fold our paper to touch our light bulb. So I'm going to fold down like this, and then I can see, you know you can see through the paper, where, see where it says push here? So I'm going to take my blue marker, and I'm just going to put a dot. And you can see through again on the other side where that dot is. So that is point A, and point B needs to be the prong to my light bulb here. So I'm going to draw a line from here to there, like that. Then I need my positive charge to go from the battery. to the wire here, to the prong here. Then go get that checked by the teacher to make sure it looks right. Okay, now I'm going to measure that out. You can just tear it. Take that extra back to the teacher, they can use it later. Peel off the backing of this tape carefully because it does curl So if you peel it off real quick, it will curl and it will uh, tape to itself. See how that much that curls? So you want to be able to hold on to it. I like to actually put it on the paper and then peel it the rest of the way like that. Just like that. All right, and then, so that's my negative charge. And here's my positive charge. And again, peel it very carefully. Now I'm going to make a mistake here. I'm going to make a mistake here on purpose. I'm going to show you what that is in a second. All right, then you take your battery and you put it positive side down. And you tape just half the battery there so that half of it's still exposed. Take your prongs and these will bolt, these will bend. Don't bend them too much because they will break. But you want to make sure that your positive is on your positive and the negative is on the negative side. All right, so I'm going to put it just like that. Tape it down. Tape those little prongs down and see if it works. It does not work. And I knew that because I wanted to show you the mistake I made. The mistake I made here was, do you see how these touch? These two circuits can't touch. They're short circuiting themselves. So that's okay. I'm just going to very carefully peel that tape off. And now, it's not touching anymore. Okay, now I'm going to put 
positive one touching the positive side and the negative one touching the negative side. Let me make sure I'm doing that. Let's see here. The shorter side. Yep, the shorter side's on that side. All right, pull those back up. And I need to be careful because I've bent these a few times. I don't want to be bending them much more than that. And lay my tape down. Tape those prongs onto the circuit tape. Let's see if that works. And it does work. See, isn't that great? I poke a little hole into my flashlight, which is my light source, and I put it in there. Fold that down. See, that works. Then I'm going to put a, a line of uh, glue stick right there so that it will stay. So just a little glue stick right here so that it will stay. And we know that it works to store it in my folder or before it gets hung in the hallway, unfold it. That way, see, we're not running the battery while it's just in a folder with all the other papers. And then when we're ready to display it, we'll fold the paper again and tack it up, uh, put the staples right there, and people walking by can push it. All right, let me show you. Um, so that was one, and that's great. All right, so in this one that I want to show you, because I want to show you again, this one, my problem here is that um, the battery, where the battery is supposed to go and where the light is supposed to go is practically on top of each other. And some of you might have it where it is one right above the other. And that could be a problem. So here's what I, I tried to do is just draw it you know, straight down. But what happens is even when I pushed it as far as it would go over, my battery, the positive part of my battery, is touching this what's supposed to be a negative and see it won't it won't light up when that happens it short circuits basically you can maybe 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 scooch it over enough where it will work but let me show you another solution just in case it's like right on top we'll use the parts from this other one for this so the other way to do it basically to draw um, a right uh, a right angle so to bring it out to here and then go straight up like that and then have your other one of course just remember it goes under the battery and goes straight up like that to do that the thing about it is is the adhesive is not conductive so the glue of the tape won't conduct electricity so what you have to do is you have to do a fold where it folds it back so that the top of it is touching the top fold it back and then fold it back again to go back where you want it to go All right, let me show you that again so you fold it the opposite direction you want it to go and then you fold it back the way you want it to go. Let me show you on the paper. First I'll do the easy one, which is just this straight line here. Number two, take it off carefully so it doesn't curl up on you, because if it curls up like that, it could tape itself to itself and then it gets all torn up and that's no good. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to do that fold. So I want it to go this way, so I'm actually going to fold it backwards the opposite direction this way, this way, see how that is, and then fold it going the direction I want. Now this is only necessary if you have your battery right above or below where you need your light to be. Otherwise, if you can make an angle at all like this, that's the best. Okay, so then when I fold it, 
very simple like that. All right, I'm going to use the battery again. It's connected to the positive. I'm going to use the same light here. And I'm going to test it before I put it on. And there it is. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just like that. Perfect, just like that. And then tape, or uh, I'm sorry, glue stick where there's no fold. Unfold it to store it. And that's it.